Here we are, Dinwiddie. I have no voice, but we got four cars out here, and uh, they starting off pretty good. So, we got my car. Daniel's been working on that. Doug's been working on that. Daniel got Dick's car, one of our really good customers up and going. My cousin's here racing his uh, dad's car that he's had since high school, and, and one of our good friends out here too with his Camaro. So, hopefully it'll be some good action. We're in the uh, most wanted shootout today. It's 28 cars. Getting ready to go for a drive down the road, five or six miles. That should knock a couple cars out because it's actually hot out today. It's probably 80 degrees here in October. So hopefully a couple cars will go out with that, and then we'll uh, come back around, get in the lanes, first round of eliminations. this Camaro my uncle's had since it was almost brand new. I remember when I was a kid, he kept this thing in a barn, literally in my grandma's backyard. <clears throat> had Krager mags, so if you go back that far and you remember the old real chrome Krager mags, he put wax on the wheels and park it for the winter with the wax on the wheels. He wouldn't take it off, he just would wax and park it away. <clears throat> this car had the Z28 stripes, which was very rare, you didn't see that very often. Uh, he redid those a couple times. Then, uh, you know, I guess it was his high school car, as best as I know. And then later in life, he uh, cut it up with his friend Christy Perkinson, pretty good race car driver from this area, you probably know him. Uh, they made a full race car and then put it back on the street. Many, many years later, the motor's been in mud ball truck. Uh, actually, it was in one of my mud ball trucks when Jake drove it. Uh, it's been through a lot of different hands, but uh, now Jake's took it over and he's made a street car again and a pretty fast one so they're doing some shakedown testing adjusting the nitrous trying to get it ready so uh, hopefully he'll make some good runs today too he's testing and tuning he's not in the shootout but uh, hopefully he'll be back around to run the shootout with us in the future so keep an eye on that car really nice piece what's happening guys daniel davis off-road performance out here at dinwiddie motorsports park running the most wanted street car shootout. Uh, we've got quite a few cars out here today. My brother is Nova. Uh, my customer Dick Hayslip's Nova. We got Matt Knickerbocker's Camaro. We got my, my cousin Jake's Camaro out here as well. So we got a pretty good crowd. Uh, just made the first test hit. Everything went really well. Threw a little bit at it and uh, it took it. So we're gonna turn it up even more, get in here against these other guys and see what we can do. We, uh, we are not well-known drag racers, but we are becoming known uh, just to come out here and run with the big boys that are out here every week and testing, tuning. They spend their life doing this. We're doing it for fun on the side and uh, happy to say that we're doing a pretty damn good job in my opinion. So, uh, like I said, this is uh, this is my brother's car. We got Dick's car over here if you wanna check that out. We've uh, we've done quite a bit of work on both cars. Uh, Dick bought this car. It's a uh, small block, all steel, even still got the steel hood on it. Two kits, four length. We did not build this car, but we did a bunch of changes on it. Uh, this car was built very well from the get-go, and uh, you can hear that it's real steel. Uh, but anyway, we did a four-link change, we did some tire changes, uh, some intake and nitrous tune-up changes, and it's doing very well, picking up every time we take it out. So we're real happy with that, and hope to keep, continue to progress with it. Uh, he's actually got a uh, higher driver today, somebody that's really experienced, uh, Dalton, and. He's doing really well so far, so we hope that he goes real far in the, in the race today as well. Uh, over there, that's Matt's car, 67 Camaro. Got a bunch of parts from us, uh, everything from the ignition system to the fuel system, brake upgrades, lowering upgrades, tires, wheels. We really helped him out all the way through with that car. Uh, it's a family-owned car. His grandfather actually owned that car 
Uh, so it's a, it's a family heirloom, and he's trying to keep it going for the next couple of generations. And right around the corner here, my, uh, it's my cousin, Jake Camaro. His dad bought that car when he was 18 years old in high school, owned it ever since. Uh, he's in his late 50s now, so the car's been around a really long time. Jake's taken it over. It's been through a lot of different phases. It was a street car. It was a full-blown, tubbed-out uh, drag car, Lexan window, you name it. Uh, now it's back to a street car, steel, glass, small back tire, radial. Um, he just put a new big block in it with a fogger, and uh, this is the first time out on that car with the current setup. That car has lived at this track its whole life pretty much, but this is the first time out on the new setup, so he's working on that. Uh, but we'll be over here helping him tune on that uh, and trying to help him get down the track like he wants to get it. So we appreciate you guys checking us out. Come see us if you need some parts, holler at us, we'll drop ship, we'll do whatever. We'll be happy to help you with y'all's project as well. All right, guys, gonna do the drive now for the most wanted street car shootout. So what we're gonna do is everybody's pairing up in the lanes right now. Every car that's in this race, they're gonna follow us as we escort them. We'll go three miles down the road, three miles back. Just makes takes all the real, real full-blown race cars out of the equation. If you can't make it a couple miles down the road, do you really have a street car? We'd like to make it even longer, but there are some people that don't want to go as far as we're actually going today. So anyway, they're going to roll around the corner here in a second. They're going to follow us. We'll escort this deal. We'll come on back. As soon as we get back, they're going to jump in the lanes. They have 10 minutes to cool down, get their nitrous set up straight, whatever power adders they have, uh, and then we run the first round. It'll knock half the class out. It's a straight heads up race and minimal cool down time after this drive. So that's the whole purpose is to knock the people that can't make that happen on their particular race car or street car uh, done. So anyway, uh, we're getting ready to make this. Tim's gonna film it. It'll be a pretty cool ride. We'll get back in and get some video of them running. Stay tuned. What's up YouTube? Davis Drives here. You see it, we got the cars lining up, ready to go on the cruise. It's game time. We're gonna get in the lights. Somebody gotta win. Somebody gotta lose. <laughs>
okay, so it's not terrible for a race car to be able to travel around like that. <laughs> we lost a couple cars along the way. I lost more of my voice. Um, but we're back to the lanes. And hopefully we'll make a good pass. It's a test down, test run, shakedown pass was pretty damn good. So we got a little bit more left. We're turning it all on. And if the track will take it, we should go on down and get the wind light. Let's hope so. Hey y'all, get that one Tim. Get him too. He hot? He hot just like us. I know he hot in that race suit. He gonna let a button go. You gonna let a button go? I know, I know. Well, we fixing the exhaust right now. It was hanging a little bit too low. We gonna, we gonna rig it up and he gonna win, the, win in the winning circle. Hopefully. Break or something? Yeah, ripped a bracket on, must have hung it on something. Yeah, but you. That's good enough for right this second. If it drags, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. It ain't gonna come off, is it? Got four balls in the header, that's it. Four balls. Hey, Dave. Hey, it ain't going nowhere. Turn it loose. Ready? Yeah. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Davis drives. JWJW. Shootout. What you gonna do? Go? Go? Okay. He's gonna let the button go. It's on hook. It's gonna work. I'm gonna see what you do. You see the nitrous bottle right there. Imagine my shoes. <laughs> the highlighter shoes are ready. All right, y'all. We'll catch you on, We'll catch you next time. At Give us about At the finish line. Right in, the, in the winner's right. circle. In the winner's circle. Right there. In the winner's circle. Turn around. Bingo. Time to go. Thank it's you. A trip. <laughs> so, a little promo plug where you get your bottle filled. day to day things didn't go as planned we got one car in the team still going down the track <clears throat> we went out first round unfortunately put a little too out of a tune up and right lane wouldn't take it and uh, blew the tires away still ran him down I gathered it back up you're not supposed to do that but I couldn't let another car go across the finish line in front of me but it was the quarter mile not the eighth mile we were running for the eighth so 
We live to do it another day. Can't thank everybody enough for helping out. Daniel did a ton of work getting this thing ready, and Doug as well. But we'll be back better next time. Sometimes this stuff happens, nothing you can do about it. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope this is a good video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Bought this car in 1978, more than four years old. Drove it to high school. It's set for a while. Start, started making it to a race car when they opened up a track out here. And then we, we dragged race for a few years and then got out of it and got into mud bogging. And same motor with the mud bog truck. But now my son has is, is got the car and he's redone the whole thing. And, and, uh, we've really done a good job with it.